October, everyone. Can you believe it's October? My favorite month of the year. Cooler temperatures, pumpkin patches, corn mazes, trick-or-treating, parties, my birth month. I love October. I wanted to show you real quick my, um, my cute little purchase. It's a glitzy little pink pumpkin that goes good in my craft room. I got it for $3 at Hobby Lobby because the stem had fallen off. But as you crafters know, we can hot glue that sucker right back on. So I was really happy about that. But this video is about the Witch's Cauldron that I came up with, with the bubbling brew. It is super easy, and I'm going to show you how I made it. It would look also really cute on tables for centerpieces, but I'm going to put this around my door. I am so behind on my decorations, but this is one um, element to my door decorations. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's start with the supplies. Here we have three different sizes of styrofoam balls. The large, the medium, and the teeny tiny. Um, we have a foam brush and the green Anita's acrylic in citrus. The line, the glow in the dark lime greenish um, spider webbing, little spiders. Our friend the glue gun and glue sticks and some good scissors and of course our cauldron. I picked the cauldron up at a party supply place for $3. It's an 8 inch cauldron. So let's get started. These were white styrofoam balls and I just took the foam brush, I poured the paint onto a paper plate, dipped it, dipped the brush into the paint and just kind of painted and stippled all around the styrofoam and styrofoam takes the acrylic paint really well and because it is styrofoam it has that cute kind of glittery effect and as you all know I love anything glittery so I was really happy with the way it turned out so paint all of those styrofoam balls I bought two or three packages of each size because I'm going to make several cauldrons and then let them all dry now let's take our cauldron and I have a shredder at home and this is a great, great way to reuse your shredding. Put it all in a plastic bag or one of those, uh, you know, like a Walmart bag or whatever. But make sure, oops, sorry, make sure it's sealed. That's the whole point of putting it in the bag so the shredding doesn't go everywhere. And then I just stick it in there so that it's up at the top so that I can start gluing stuff to it. And also the paper shredding keeps it light. So then we go on to the next step, which is hot gluing our, our spider webbing to it. I just use some really good scissors. I use my KitchenAid scissors um, that you can find at the kitchen section of Target. And I cut off hunks of the spider webbing, a couple of different ones. And you know, you know how you kind of have to do this and get it real fuzzy and spread it out. And I hot glue it in two different sections. And make sure you have some that spills over the side so it looks really, you know, bubbly and like it's coming out of the cauldron. So after you do that, then all you're going to do is just take your styrofoam balls. I start with the large ones, put some hot glue on the bottom, and just stick them in. And I use usually, I think, three um, big ones. That's, that starts, as you can see, starts the bubbly effect. Then you're going to want to start with the, the medium ones and just kind of stick them in. Of course, you're hot gluing this all at the same time. And then fill in the little spots with the little ones like that. And it looks really cute when you glue a couple of the little ones and have, them, have it hanging over like I did here. You may have to hold those for a minute or so. But once, they start, once the glue starts to dry, it really holds. And then, of course, you're just going to take your little spider and then hot glue it to the top. It's super, super easy, but I think it's so cute. And then I'm going to hang either hang these around my uh, garland with a separate hook, either by the, the handle or I'll drill a couple of holes in the back and um, run some wire through. I haven't decided yet. That's still going to be a process, and I'm still working on the colors. I have a several different colors for my door and I'm having issues picking the right color deco mesh. So that's why I'm behind. And uh, 
Also, one other thing, if you've been commenting on YouTube, I have been trying to answer um, you, you, your questions. However, YouTube comments has been really messed up and it keeps saying error, error. So if you want quicker responses, you might consider joining my Facebook page, Pretty Fire Life. Just search for that and I'll approve you. Um, thanks again for all your comments and for your subscriptions and watching. I, I really enjoy seeing and reading all the comments and hope helping hopefully helping you guys be more creative. So thanks a lot and happy October.